Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, and that is my ring pour cup. And that is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I have colors such as Hot Orchid from Color Art, which I'm extremely excited about using over and over and over again. So I'm just going to do that and make myself a ring pour cup. I'm going to use black in between because I want to see black in between. And I'm going to vary with the folk art color shifting purple, which is called Purple Flash. And keep going back. I think I'm going to use some gold in between. Gold and black in between every other layer, hopefully. I've got my magenta, which I seldom use, which is pretty clear. Back to black. And I think gold. And I've got orange that's a modern, excuse me, it's a master's touch with some iridescent pearl fine in it. And my orchid again, my hot orchid. I love, love, love. And I'm almost there, I think. I did not give myself enough paint the last time I did this. So I'm very interested in trying to have more, more than I need as opposed to less. And if I make sure that the colors that I'm finishing with are colors that I love, then it doesn't matter if they go down first or not. I've got a long shadow right on my canvas. And I'm thinking that I should go turn that light on. Maybe I will just finish pouring my colors in my cup first. I'm almost out of black. I did this off center last time and I got something neat. I just didn't get everything that I wanted. I'm hoping that if I give myself enough paint I can get what I want. I want some more of that pink right now. I'm going to try and remember to torch first. Look at the inside of that cup. That is just gorgeous. I'm going to let that paint fall down. I'm going to go turn that light on while well, that rests for a moment. Hopefully this won't be an issue. Right now, I'd just like to get rid of some of the shadows. Oh, the other light that I need is off, actually. So let's give that a bit of a torch. I thought about using some lighter magenta pink. And I really want to get some of my bottles out of the way and grab an edge catcher, which I thought I had out, and I probably do. Yes, right there. And I don't have a lot of black to spare, but I know I have more purple than black right now, so I'm just going to give myself a ring of something to swallow that won't hurt my feelings if it shows through. Now I'm not a, I'm not good at slow tipping, but I'm going to try. I see that thing that does not belong, which might or might not be a bubble, because I didn't torch the purple. Now I've seen and I like the way the paint looks when it's left behind and you tip it over the corners. But I think if I want to do that, I'm going to have to grab another edge catcher and pour onto two of them at once. But I am going to try and get this to go as wide as I possibly can. I don't see any black at all in between, which is really bizarre because I was kind of hoping for black. So either bigger rings I mean, it wasn't even 
I thought about enamel, but the enamel turns my colors funky every time. I do see some of the some of the hot orchid, which is good. I really wanted to have that. So I'm on two two sides. And I'm gonna let it. Am I? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna let it fall right over, which is not something I'm used to doing. I almost always use an edge catcher. But the truth is, if I do that, then I can always pick it up again using my spatula. This is a wild one. I see I've got another bubble down here or something. I've got huge cells. I really want to bring that paint down so I can make it flow all, allow it to flow off all at once. This is going to be different. I see there is something in there. I could have used some negative space, honestly. And I could definitely fill, fill those corners in if I wanted to. And I've got enough paint dripping off so that if I want to fill in my gaps, I can do that too. I'm really tempted to do what I'm talking about. Let's see how much further I can get it to flow before I go there. A highly unusual activity for me. I can get a spot ready for that edge catcher so I can take off whatever paint I want. All the way to right there, which is pretty cool. So I am going to use my finger to take any of the drips off right now because it's fun. No, because <laughs> I want the paint to stop running over the sides. I'm going to take away my edge catcher. I'm going to grab a couple of cottage cheese lids, which are my, my push pins of choice. I've got a little bit of paint left in my cup. That I wouldn't mind using. The black and the orange do make a kind of a brown, but I, I'm either adjusting to it or I've learned to like it. So the question for me is, it, should it be a purple corner or should I just go for it? I'm going to go for it and I'm going to use my favorite spreading tool right after my OXO omelet turning spatula, which is available on the Amazon link, which is under the link tree link, which is under the video. I don't want to waste any of that orchid because I'm about to need to order some more. Actually, I probably needed to order some more the day before yesterday, but oh well. Yeah, I like the pink corner. And I'm pretty much thinking I might do it to the other corner. It's either pink or black. I'm wishing I didn't have so much cr crud on my fingers because I don't want to put any crud into the color. And I need it kind of heavy for it to cover. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all my paint mixtures. That's pretty cool for a um, for an imperfect color combination. I'm loving that. So I kind of want to take all of that color right off there and use a little band of it. I'm going to roll my skewer in the color. and just use the skewer without the bottle in the way and I think I'm going to put a little pink stripe right there or it could be gold or it could be gold and pink <laughs> we'll see in a second that's about the perfect amount of paint and I'm not unhappy that that worked out that way so now it's time to decide
what will be will be. And I might have to put some black up there just to make myself happy. opportunity to play in the paint and see how it mixes. So I'm just learning about how this orchid works. It, it stains the back of the canvas, which is not a problem for me. But that's something that Unicorn Spit used to do. Unicorn Spit is a, is a stain, a general purpose stain that stains a lot of things. I still want a torch. I don't mind that there's schmutz on my skewer because it's leaving a nice trail behind it. I have a mixture of paints and even some cells. Cool. So, I'm not going to do anything with the paint on my edge catcher because it's kind of yucky. But it might look good on my Lolify silicone mat once it dries. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to look and see if I want to do anything like add another gold stripe. I do stuff because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link under the link tree. I think I might have mentioned that. It's right next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. Just to add a little something something and maybe, you know what, that's pretty cool. I'm not unhappy with this at all. It's a very agony ring pour. The orchid does tend to meld very nicely with other things. So I want to be a little careful about not losing it. Do I want a little bit of black or dark purple? Just going to follow one of these lines. Just to add a little interest. Now, I find that when things are all over and I'm being called to another color, sometimes I will go in and add that other color. Like, it would be okay. Not that I'm going to do it, but it would be okay to use some of that turquoise flash that's a color shift from folk art. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I love you guys. There's almost 91,000 of you. I bet there is by now. I bet there are. I don't know how to grammatically correct myself right now. Yeah, I think the purple is just every bit as good as the black and maybe better. we got another little vein. I'm liking all that. I can't wait to see how it dries. Do I want anything else? I have two minutes to decide. I see a really nice orange vein here. And I think I'm going to just indulge myself as usual. Just sort of follow right around the cells that are there. That turquoise is still calling me. I don't know. Where is that turquoise? Right there. Do I dare? You know I do. So let's see what it does. And we blend it in a little bit. Maybe even bring that skewer back. I went back into my painting I did yesterday with some of my um, 
some of this, which looked pretty awesome, which is a Venetian blue. Yes, I'm not unhappy I did that a bit. I'm not sure it'll stay, it sinks often. So I did it on dry canvas. Yes, that might have made the difference. Which means I can put a little bit down here. And that way the eye will jump back and forth. If it'll stay. Yep. Okay. Well, I did it. I just willy-nilly added some pink to that corner and I'm not complaining. I'm also not done. As long as I've got time and you're still here, I can tell you I love you. And to check the Teespring clothing underneath the video for all of the print leggings and t-shirts. And if you ever want something to become a print or to be available to be printed on something, please feel free to ask me. And if I can do it, I will. I'm not sure I like what I just did. <laughs> but there's nothing that Purple Flash or Hot Orchid won't fix, in my opinion, so. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up. Please watch the videos longer if you want to be of assistance to me. And if you're looking for a way to maybe get a hold of, of one of my artworks, check out the end screen video, the exhibition video, for uh, the prizes in the monthly drawing. Because anybody who's contributing to help keep the studio rolling, making videos, is eligible and included when they make a donation through PayPal. I used to say on Patreon, but I'm not as sure about Patreon as I was. I like all this a lot. But I like it so much, I think I want more. Just because I want some dimension or a little more dimension. And the only way to get a solid color is to add a solid color at the end. And I'm not sorry I did that. But I am going to add a little more right there. So it goes right down over the edge. And what should I tell you guys? The link tree under the under the video has at my Amazon link where if you shop it's at no any cost to you. I'm going to torch again. Um, <laughs> Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. My website. Probably a bunch of stuff I forgot I put there. Um, my community board on my YouTube channel will have tomorrow's video posted there. I think I like this a lot. I think I like it better that I gave myself permission to do some stuff to it very carefully. And uh, I'm very satisfied with how this turned out. It's, uh, it's extraordinary and it's fun and the colors are great. And even though somebody's going to tell me it's muddy, I don't care. I like it anyway. So thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate them. And thank you for the wonderful comments that you keep my morale boosted. Because I get a few hundred people watching when other people get thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching. But um, I still love coming here and doing this for you guys. You guys inspired the heck out of me, and I really appreciate you so much. So know that I do sell my artwork, and I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and my email address is directly underneath the link tree, underneath the video. Should you have a question, please feel free to ask. Look for my paint pouring recipe described underneath the description in the video. It will tell you what pouring mixtures I put in and what, what quantities and uh, what I use them for, basically. So I can't imagine what else I'm forgetting. I'm sure there's always something, and there probably always will be. I love you, and if I can zoom in, I will. I don't like that reflection there. I don't know how much this I'll get to show you. Or how much of it will be obscured by that reflection. I wish it would go away. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care.